So it's mostly here, right? Yeah. I feel it much better now, actually, but yeah, still feeling some pressure and a little bit tight. Whoa, <laughs> lo oíste? <laughs> Did you hear that? Hi guys, welcome to my channel, this is Max. In this video I will teach you the best technique to work on your client, on your patient, or your partner ah, okay. to get rid of uh, pain and actually in all over the body because this video is uh, almost an hour long. So we're gonna add uh, advanced deep tissue technique with uh, Thai massage and osteopathic treatment. For every technique, most of the time, you have an image of the anatomy and the muscle I'm working on. Pay attention, especially the movement I do when I work them. You know, you can see, for example, when I work on the, on the trapezium right now, that uh, sometimes I had uh, a movement of the head. So that is following the, the, the work of the muscle in the direction of the muscle mm. to get the best uh, um, friction on the fascia. See, as you can see, I'm asking to bend and create a kind of friction on your finger. You don't want to go too fast. And you want to maintain a really good, deep pressure on the muscle. So, uh, as I said, I will not talk for all the video. I will let you enjoy what's going on uh, alive with my client actually this was a live video she was sometimes you see that she's talking to the camera because we were live and uh, she had she was somebody was was more than 50,000 people watching this in the same time so anyway for now I'm gonna shut up I will intervene in the in another moment when it's needed Maybe this one is uh, the moment. As you can see, I'm turning and creating, uh, uh, I'm working on a scaling and I'm working on a, on a SAM. And then I'm gonna go working uh, directly on the chest. Back minor, that is really important for posture. Sí, la verdad que sí, si no sé cómo se aguanta aquí todo el verano. If you think about power lifter, they Yo use the uh, chest, they use the back, they use the, the legs in a squat. And uh, one of the, the stronger muscle is the chest and the tricep together. So um, you wonder why you have around the shoulder is because this muscle, if it's tight, is going to pull your shoulder in the front. Now we are working on the uh, scaling. Well, for now I'm gonna let you enjoy the video and uh, talk to you soon. Ah, bueno, Max, del otro live que hicimos, mm -hmm. escribieron bueno, mucha gente preguntando por ti, sobre todo chicas. ¿Así? ¿Ah, sí. sí. ¿Qué cuánto mides? Me preguntaron. ¿Cuánto mido? Sí. ¿De altura? Sí. Ah. <risa> sí, claro. <risa> 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 Yo les dije que no lo sabía. No, pero pregunta lo que vamos a hacer. No, que cuánto mides de altura. De altura, claro. Sí. Preguntaban que cuánto mides de alto. ¿Cuánto mides? 
¿Y qué cuántos años tenía? Me preguntaron también. Eso no puedo decir, no <risa> Aquí somos todos mayores, no te preocupes. La mayoría de mis seguidores saben, esto es un canal de más de 30. <risa> Empújame contra. Sí. Eso. Yo dije que más o menos serías en mi quinta, que no lo sé, la verdad. <risa> Que no había preguntado. Cuando ya sospechas que alguien tiene más de 30, lo educado es no preguntar. Os informo mejor, para la juventud, mejor, ¿vale? Mejor. Entonces, yo creo que eres un poco más mayor que yo, entonces calculo que debes tener, no sé, 36 o 37. Mm -hmm. Más o menos. Pero no, yo... Ya lo dijiste tú el otro día en el live, lo hace poco que lo dejó con su novia, para las chicas que estén interesadas, sí. es heterosexual, para los chicos que estén interesados, lo siento... Bueno, vamos a informarles por si acaso, porque si no... Se ve ser un poco introvertido. <risa> es un italiano tímido. Italiano tímido, no tiene... ¿Viste qué cosa más extraña? <risa> ¿eh? pues un italiano bien. tímido. Es <risa> un poco un producto. <risa> no, bueno, yo cuando me preguntaron pensaba que era por tu trabajo y claro. le di muy buenas referencias. Bueno, ya veis que es un poco tímido, chicas, por favor, no. No. <risa> ok. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo va? Bien, mejor. Es que Nos me... estamos relajando todo sí. el, el trapecio. Sí, es que me lo notaba que todavía lo tenía. Sí, tienes bastante... Bueno, mucha... siempre lo tengo. Claro, el trapecio empieza aquí en el en the scalp, ¿cómo se dice? En la, la nuca, en la sí, parte la alta de la nuca. La nuca y baja hasta... T12, T12 que es la... Hasta el centro de la espalda, chicos, más sí. o menos, para que os hagáis media, ¿vale? Al centro de la columna. Ok. Ponte así. A ver si tienes algo. Ah, ¿Sabes qué? Aquí. Ven un poco más atrás, por favor. Sí, sí, ¿no lo oí usted? No. <risa> Yo sí. <risa> y este ha sido light, pero del cuello de antes, madre mía. Sí, creo que estaba necesitado. Sí, no, tenía toda esa parte de arriba del cuello muy cargada. Bueno, programo. Vamos de aquí. Dame un poco de presión. De, de flexión. ¿sabes? Vale. Sí. Eh, vuelve a, de nuevo así. y de ahí hacemos, hacemos presión hacemos vale. presión ahí así este de nuevo empuja con tu fuerza ¿cómo es que es exacto? ¿Cómo empujar se mientras hace presión sí ¿qué tal? se nota que se sí, este movimiento me gusta me lo voy a apuntar sí, esto tiene una espalda muy bonita para hacer ¿de qué? no, ok Empújame atrás, empújame atrás, eso. Hay mucha gente que está en sus casas, sin hacer nada, ¿no? Entonces cuando hacen live, eh, pues esa gente les propone retos para hacer y cosas así. Digo, bueno, nosotros estamos aquí en medio de una sesión, ¿no? Es que estamos aquí... ¿Qué tal? Bien, me gusta ese movimiento, creo que libera mucho la escápula. Lo voy a usar, lo voy a coger. Empújame, empújame, empújame. De esto de Anatomy Trains. Thomas Myers, que es el maestro del masaje miofascial, se nota, ¿no? Ahí, sí. eso. Empuja, 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 eso ahí. Mi idea es propia de abrir. A mí sí me gusta mucho el masaje miofascial, o sea, sí. por todo lo que es relajación miofascial y, y, y kinesiología. Me gusta más que el masaje en sí, que recibirlo, ¿eh? Sí, sí, sí. Que libera mucho. Sí. Y lo que me va muy bien también es el taping 
y el capping. Ah, el kinesio, el kinesio Sí, y el capping también va muy bien. Las mendozas, las adoro. Ah, pero eso, mira. Tengo no esa que me regalaron. Esas las estaba viendo que me las quería, co que me las quería comprar. ¿Qué tal van? Son esas que van automáticas. Ah, bueno, se no, ver si se, no, se no tiene nada de mejor. No, porque yo uso las manuales. Sí, exacto. Y te hace esto, ¿sabes? Pues no está mal. Estaba viendo justamente esa para comprarla porque la vi la otra vez y dije, ay, mira. Y para autoponérselas, ¿cómo Sí, te la puedes puede cambiar también el, el nivel de... ¿De presión? Ah, sí. mira. ¿Veis, chicos? ¡Epa, cuidado! Ah. Sí, sí, sí. No, ellas no las usan mucho porque yo las uso... Yo las, las copas tengo las, las fijas, que van con la ventosita así como para sacarles del aire. Y tengo las otras que son como las... Bueno, que son las faciales, que son las que vienen con sí, el manual. Sí, sí, esas son. Eh, que esas también las uso para cuello y más hambre. Y me va muy bien. Las uso para mí y para los clientes. Sí. Ponte así. Eso. para estirar las palmas o yo los codos en una mesa alta o una estantería o algo y estiro hacia los codos y estiro claro. hacia abajo todo lo que puedo para claro, liberar bien los claro, hombros claro. la espalda cuando estoy sí, 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 muy, sí. muy muy cargada vamos uh, de lado sí de qué lado ah, pero se pone oscuro sí siempre ves que se oscurece no te preocupes hola Hi, so long without making any video. <laughs> Not a lot. Ah, no. <laughs> It's gonna be cut. Yeah, I know it. <laughs> Just say hello. Ay, sí.
Claro, ¿no? Uh -huh. Muy intenso. Si es así, a lo mejor vamos a hacer eso. ¿Estás mucho de pie? Sí, casi todo el día. Y camino mucho, todo el mundo. ¿Sabes que yo me acuerdo? And here I am again. I want to um, point out how it's important to open the foot to have a good balance, to allow all the muscle to work properly. As you can see, I'm um, working on the first layer of the muscle. Try to open up, try to create space in between the muscle. You can find some people having a trouble walking, especially on the ball of the feet. So you want to try to work longitudinally, uh, pushing down while in the same time you're opening up, like you open an orange. And uh, create, it can be really pleasurable, no, no doubt about it. It can be really painful, it depends what kind of uh, tension the client, the patient has uh, on the feet. Some people really enjoy, some people feel this is a torture. So you got to really pay attention to the, to the depth that you use with your, with your finger. I want to say that um, this kind of massage can help with uh, plantar fascia. And uh, sometimes it can be a good uh, pre-competition uh, massage. So um, try to give it a try and uh, you can change position. If you want to open, you can even, this for example is for time massage, you can use it and uh, opening up the, the planter from a different position and it feels really good. It's, um, it's like playing a trumpet in a way. I know it's uh, the metaphor, it's uh, probably not the, the most convenient. But when you use your finger on different parts of the muscle, and the client uh, will be grateful for what you're doing. Now I'm opening up the talus. Mm -hmm. There is a lot of tension in people with pronated feet or actually over pronated feet and uh, over supinated in that uh, um, part of uh, the talus where the fascia connect uh, with the, the plantar. Here some work on the tibialis. As, he, as I was saying, you always want to add some movement to your, to your massage to increase the capacity of, uh, of the massage and the therapeutic uh, outcome. Now you have some mobilization of the hips. So, generally, um, when you mobilize the hips, what are you looking for? You're looking for re uh, restriction. So it can be a test, the same mobilization. You see if after a while you, the client doesn't let it go, you can uh, uh, figure it out. There is probably uh, a tension in the adductor, a tension in a TFL, or maybe a tension in the sacrum. In this case, she was complaining about uh, the ischiotuberosity. I see, as you can point out, uh, the, the base of the glutes. But I was worried. I say, okay, I'm uh, going. I'm, I'm going with uh, working on the on the multifidus. But one thing that is super important: uh, you want always to listen what your client tell you. You know, you can go with your modus operandi, with a MO, with your routine, but the most important thing is to adapt to uh, what your client tell you. You uh, will have a better treatment if you improvise 
on the suggestion of your client. She or he will see that uh, you care for what she said, you care for the history, you care for, for the pain that she's going through, and uh, the way you use uh, um, the suggestion. See, she was telling me, I feel some impingement. And, uh, she didn't use the word impingement. She say, I feel some pain in the front of my, of my leg. So right now, I'm trying to release uh, the, the hamstring. Uh, there is so many positions you can use to release the hamstring. Uh, she was, it's happened that she was face up, so I'm uh, start working um, the hamstring facing up. This is a, is a really great position for um, for working the hamstring because it allows you to um, flex Aye. the hips completely. And flexing the hip creates some um, some opening in the hamstring, in the bicep femoris, uh. in the semitendinoso, semimembranoso. And uh, you can go all the way into the ischial tuberosity. As you can see, the ischial tuberosity is where the hamstring uh, originated. So it can be really uh, tight, especially people that play football, uh, soccer. And uh, this technique is really useful. I'm a kind of speed up in this technique because it's mostly a uh, sport massage uh, technique. And then I work on the calf. Always when you work on, the, on one muscle, don't forget the muscle that is in the chain up and in the chain low for where you're working. So if you work in the hamstring, you want to work all the muscles that are lower, so the calf, gastrocnemium, solio, yeah, and all the muscle up of the hamstring. And we're talking the glutes, the six deep rotators. Here again, some mobilization of the hips and back. Really important when you attempt to do this technique, really pay attention to how big is your client. This, uh, this client is petite, so I can move it around with any problem. But if you have a strong man competitor or a power lifter, oh, good luck with that. Uh, so it's uh, again, as soon as I start, as soon as I start speaking, this is a dog barking, so always present, connected to my, to my mic. Anyway, so I'm asking a client uh, to activate the abductor and then the adductor. That can create uh, <laughs> a popping in the pubis. Sometimes the pubis can go up or can be down and then you want to uh, realign the pubis in the right position. Now we have ah. some stretching of the 6D rotator and I'm gonna add uh, some 
<coughs> activation of the muscle. It's really important to work the muscle in the end range of motion. Because uh, the entire uh, functional range condition, maybe not the entire, but functional range condition from uh, the spina is based on the concept of uh, strengthening the muscle when in the when you find yourself in the end range of motion because it's super important for athletes to be strong in that part of the movement. Now we have some work on the diaphragm. I like to work the diaphragm in this position because it's kind of stretching mm -hmm. the diaphragm and you can, yeah. as you can see, when she press it now. Open up your arm back, you hold, yeah. and the back, back on top, top of your head. head. Yes. the diaphragm so going out. Now opening up around the, the ribs. Okay. Really interesting work. I don't do this to release emotion, even if sometimes the client can feel pretty emotional. And now we're gonna work on the lumbar and we're gonna perform a lumbar roll technique. Lumbar roll technique the classic osteopathic technique, uh, and it's been proved by a, a scientific study to really help release L4, L5, the sacrum from back pain. Um, the client has always to be relaxed when you really? perform this technique. It's very important when you put the, the elbow. Go back, the, give the direction of the work you're doing. You can give the direction. I love that, you know. Of, uh, <laughs> For example, if you have an anterior pelvic no, tilt, you want to put the, the elbow on the uh, close to the coccyx. If you want uh, an opposite, uh, you have a, a posterior pelvic tilt, you want to put it on the base of the sacrum. So now, uh, another technique to uh, release uh, some tension in the spinal and the thoracic and the lumbar. You got really. Before you do something like this mm -hmm. with the leg like on top of your client, tell the client what you're doing, and she can feel really mm -hmm. pretty threatened by you. you know? You're a man, you're in a room yes. with your client, doesn't know you, it's the first time. Uh, communication, guys, super important if you don't want to be liable for being sued and uh, even lose your license and uh, your, your job. So. Always communicate with your client. Very important, even when you do technique like this, yeah, right. where you mm. move uh, the client around, it's better if she or he Come has uh, uh, a sport okay. attire. Um, just sporty and not towel or be uh, half naked. Because uh, it's, not, it's not appropriate. So yes, this is uh, uh, helping uh, to go a little the dynamic tie. Snake. Traducido al español para los que están viendo el live stream. La, <laughs> la movilidad. Está generando movilidad en la columna vertebral. Si la tenía muy estirada. The back is Porque la musculatura alrededor pues, está it, como mm, apretada. Pero al soltar la musculatura alrededor, the client pues la relax. columna vuelve a tener movilidad. But this rhythm motion, this keep on moving of the joint. Um, if you have a team, yeah, the client so can relax yeah, on the team the and yeah, they control us. <laughs> so I know, I know, I know people that do. I have my own mother community team. guidelines. Yeah, but this is only for therapeutic purpose, so there is no. No, yeah, I know, but <laughs> if I take out the book, that uh, it's blocking forever. We use that word, call it uh, mm -hmm. the rest. <laughs> I had a lot of. Um, Blockments on TikTok for saying things that I don't have to. Really? I would say I saw a lot of girls dancing almost naked and they don't have problems, you know, but I just say a small thing, you know, eh, block. <laughs> What's happening? What's happening? <laughs> People will <laughs> Just a squat. Let's put this here. No, no, no. Just this one. Ah, 
Wait a second. Um. Painful. No, just like when I'm in this position. I'm like actually on my bottom. Yeah. This side. Yeah, not that much. The other one, I think it's worse. Let me check something. All right, guys. We are working now on the glutes. Super important when you work on the glutes, on the, on the leg, that you ask the client the permission to do that. Some client doesn't want you to work on the glutes. So we start with the hamstring. Remember what I said before, every time you have a problem in one part of the body, let's say the glutes, you want to work around that muscle. You want to work uh, on the hamstring and you want to work on the lower back. So we are pressing massaging the glute maximum. Here we have a six dips rotator, six muscle. And as and, uh, I was saying before, when you start working on the glutes, you want to even work on the QL maybe, on the, on the multifidus. So I'm stretching the QL, quadrato lumborum. Always try to maintain a tempo. Then I'm working on hamstring. I try to, when I do this pin and stretch, I try to press with my fist in the direction of the, of the head, in a cranial direction, so that you achieve a, a bigger stretch on the fascia and on the bicep femoris in this in this case. Sometimes I even try to open in the septum in between the bicep femoris and the semitendinoso, semimembranoso. And then from there I start working on the on the glute medius. Even here when you work on a glute medius Actually, right now I'm just uh, testing all the different muscles, try to figure out which one is tighter. And that can give me some uh, insight on the problem that she uh, might have. So, if, for example, if uh, she has a uh, back pain and uh, she feels that the, the pain does go down to the butt, so that can be a, a really tight piriformis. In this position, you can reach all the, the muscle you need to reach in a different angle. And it's pretty, pretty precise. You can use the different tool, you can use the elbow, you can use the thumb. Generally on the C, generally you can see from the expression of my client that she's suffering a lot on the glute medius. She has a uh, hyperlordosis, so most of the time people with hyperlordosis has uh, this muscle pretty tight and inflamed. I always like to add uh, a stretching of the adductor and the movement uh, of the femur into the acetabulum after that uh, so that work on the glutes. Here you have another angle. Sometimes you want to work on the same yeah, muscle more than once, especially if it's see. pretty tight. You can even use the some movement of the femur to create some, um, some different reactions, some different uh, give a, uh, to the receptor of the, of the muscle. A different suggestion. Here some work uh, directly on the glute medius 
from another position. This is more myofascial and some work on the uh, spinalis all the way into the sacro and into the glute medius. Here you can see some IT band work. As we know, we cannot really work and uh, create uh, a difference in the IT band, but the client uh, really like it. But there is a muscle that you can reach there that is the, um, the trans that is the quadriceps. Probably you don't know, but there is a little part of the quadriceps behind the IT band. And you can work that, and it's really sensitive. Now I'm trying to open it up the fascia, especially that muscle I was telling you. And then here's some work uh, from Thai massage. I go on top of the client. Again, really ask the client and tell them what you're doing. Here is the the pressure that you can reach in this position. You can reach when you're standing. You got to go on top. It's uh, it feels really good. And believe me, the, if you put the, the knee in the right position, the, the client doesn't suffer the, the knee in the, in the ischial tuberosity. And now some stretching of the chest, pec minor, pectoral. Really great technique. From there, you have uh, a special access to the longissimus, to the spinalis. You can even move from there all the way on top in the neck. And uh, yeah, this is my Patreon, Deep Tissue Lovers. If you want to check, you can find a video of Deep Tissue Massage on Plus Size Women. Back to the massage, here we have some uh, work again on the longissimus of the spinalis, on the erector from a different position. And then some stretching of the ilopsoas. I was asking the client if uh, she was feeling any pain. From this position, I really like um, if it's possible to stretching my client all the way. And um, what you can do, it's even massaging the, the back while you stretching the delopsoas. Bueno, a esta distancia no, pero sí. Bien. 
<risa> yo sin gafas, olvídate. Más lejos que mi brazo no ve. Y estamos ahora en la sideline. Sideline position that allow you to work on 360 degrees, especially on the shoulder. You have a lot of range of motion here that you can work with. And even the neck, the neck can go in a complete flexion, extension, and uh, uh, can tilt on the, on the side. It's a really interesting position. It's a difficult one, especially for the neck, because you got to hold the neck with your hand. But you can really work with traps, you can work with the base of the skull, you can work uh, the, mm -hmm. the nuke and uh, make uh, all that oblique cavity superior, release that recto cavity posterior major, release that uh, oblique cavity inferior, get more bland and supple, and maybe release uh, some headaches, maybe release some uh, torticolis. From this position, you can uh, stretch the, um, the traps and you can work on the sternocleidomastoideo, SAM. I like in the same time to work on the, on the, long, on the temporal muscle. I'm seeing right now some, some good mobilization. the arm, the shoulder, and then some releasing of the latissimus is really involved uh, in the lateral line and in creating problem in the shoulder, especially in big guys with a uh, lot of uh, pull-ups. Some more work on the latissimus. I like um, this technique for the um, for helping uh, the rotator cuff. Ah, sí, justo ahí. Ah, sí. Yeah, some no. some massaging of the uh -huh. subscapularis. Into the triceps. Don't forget about all the muscles that are involved in the glenomerular joint. Some de decaptation of the glenomerular joint. Uh, now <laughs> working the anterior and the posterior of the deltoids. Massaging front and the back of the shoulder, massaging the rhomboid, going to inside that scapula. And now longitudinal work on the, on the rhomboid. Stretching the traps. And here I start the work on the, um, the QL. Okay. This technique, it's a uh, front eye massage. I like it because uh, you can feel yourself really comfortable and it's really comfortable for the client. What I'm doing is with the other hand, I'm uh, inside the scapula and the you can even work all the insertion of the biceps into the acromion and the and the work on the chest on the back i mean as i said 360 degrees of work possibility Some work on the scaling. And again, oh. on the pack minor. We saw this before at the beginning oh. of the video. 
pec minor, really important to avoid around the shoulder. It's not a pleasurable yeah, yeah. work, man. Oh. When you work on the on the pack, it doesn't feel that good. So be cautious okay, and uh, tell the client what is going to happen. Now, <clears throat> you see the same work on the on the sideline, but we're going to work on the back. When I think about the sideline position and work on the back, I think about the QL. I, I can't find a better position to work the QL than on the side. You ask the client to stretch the leg, to bend the other leg that is on the bottom, and uh, you have uh, access to the QL. You can open it up. You can use your different part of your body, you can use your elbow, and you can even choose where you want to work precisely. You can even work on a facet of the, of the lumbar vertebra. Always add some rubbing some make you feel good massage to your client you don't want to just do like super strong technique pretty obvious what i'm doing right now elongate ql create space Then ask the client to press against me while I'm sewing <laughs> the QL with my elbow all the way into the multifidus, into the spinal muscle, into the sacro. You can even work on the on the arms, and from the arms you can go down into the into the traps and into the nuchal, into the temporal, and make your client feel really relaxy. She just get a good breath and feelings really relax. You want to stretch all the fascia in the face, in the temporal, in the head. And then some work on the shoulder. I'm asking the client to move the arm so I can work oh. on the infraspinatus. This work is pretty fast. It should be done a little bit slower. Oh. 
So we are doing the opposite of what the muscle does. It is external rotation. <laughs> just It could be done even deeper. And here, yeah, some work on the scapula. On the trapezius inferior, helping the, the scapula to do its job. And then back on the QL. So uh, uh, one thing I was saying in other video, and I repeat again, is uh, sometimes when you find a muscle that is particularly tight, you want to work that muscle for a while, go somewhere else, and uh, then go back to the muscle and see if the muscle has released or is still tight. That's what I'm doing right now. I uh, was working on QL, and uh, I went back working some somewhere else on the shoulder, on the on the traps, and then I'm going back again into the QL. Uh -huh. uh -huh. have some opening uh, of the spinal, different direction. Now I'm uh, moving uh, the hips uh, in extension and flexion. It's a Thai massage technique. I'm holding a leg on top of my other leg. And uh, from there I have a complete dominance of the situation of the muscle. So you, you get you grab the front of the hips and you grab the base of the sacral and you start to create this uh, movement that is opening and closing, opening and closing.
Like this. Mm -hmm. And then if you want to stretch, even in the head, you go like this. So you go like this. Open your hand and just... Mm -hmm. That's the way that relaxing the tension. middle finger on the mouth and it's like it's like making the smile you know mm -hmm. and making the joke. Exactly. Making of the joke. like this mm -hmm. then just tend the chin and mm -hmm. for make facial contouring that it's all really uh, relaxing also this area You can make both at the same time, mm -hmm. okay? Or if not, you just make some tension on the on the chin and go. And that's all for facial lifting. That's all. This one it's so good for facial lifting. Then you oh, can yeah. drain neck. Yeah. yeah, you can it's drain. For my neck, this one. I do a lot of facial lifting actually, it's what I do more now. Yeah, relaxing like and yeah, relaxing yeah. official. And what about the head? Do you do the head too? Yeah, I do the head too. But mm. it's not about scratching, it's about, uh, it's the same, it's about stretching. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, our skin continues, same as muscles and everything until almost the. Mm -hmm. Yeah, out so, of the head, so yeah. so it's good to work even all this area and yeah. all this area for stretching and for lifting. So I work a lot of this, and it's so relaxing. Same as I work always neck, chest, and, what, and, what you and use? shoulders. What do you use? Facial oil and nothing depends. I <laughs> the real, true heart expression <laughs> ah, okay. of the muscle. <laughs> Hi people, Max is asking me for saying that that was the best massage ever in my life. It wasn't, that's not true. Not even good, but... <laughs> okay. Okay, thank you. Cut. <laughs> no, you have a lot of with the camera and everything. <laughs> I'm boring people. <laughs> what if about what? <laughs> you know, he's Italian, all Italians are mafia. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. This is so. 
so racist. <laughs> I have a live stream connected there. People, please, still watching. I want to leave. <laughs> so how was the massage? <laughs> mm, fine, please uh, don't kill me. <laughs> I'm happy you like it. Nah, no, it was a really nice massage. Just no, it was, it was intense because we were doing a lot of, uh, you know, movement, camera, so it can be... Yeah. I owe, every time I come, I come really bad. <laughs> just come yeah. here when I'm, yeah. like, when you dying. Die, yeah. 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 Alright guys, thank you very much for following. Thank you very much I, for following. And I, that, I mean, yeah, you, I don't know. you want to put this? Yeah. You want to put this? Saying it. <laughs> Saying his no 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 don't worry it was a really nice massage I'm so happy you know actually it's the third fourth um, I don't know how many times I come so yeah, yeah and you see me in the video so I can't say anything and I learned something about fashion massage but something I learned to show actually yeah. if you want we can make yeah. some sharing yeah. to show yeah. me some movements that will be great for me for making mobility yeah uh, to other people and I show you how to make a proper lifting nice. fashion massage perfect see you soon guys thank you.